Here's the big trade. He'd be deceased. Demarius Thomas was acquired by the Texans. Traded from the Broncos in exchange for a fourth round draft pick. It's, it's a great very move. funny because the Texans play in Denver this week. So cool. It's it, it, your, I saw your tweet, Mike. Yeah, it's we have a full rock and jock situation here. Just where a player has been traded mid game. It's pretty funny because I mean he has to start now at, in Denver where he's made his mark. He's been a great player for them, and he goes to a good situation. Deshaun Watson, the Texans threatening for the playoffs, and fantasy wise, this is good for Emmanuel Sanders. It solidifies him to me. Some of the things that he's done this year have been super impressive, but we're all holding our breath waiting for the next shoe to drop. And then ultimately, Cortland Sutton is the monster yes. winner here because he is a beast of a man, and now he's going to get consistent snaps he's, and he's, more targets. Yeah, he is a great wide receiver. He's my number one coming into the draft, and clearly the Broncos have fallen in love with the guy because he was in in the preseason. He was in from week one, even in three wide receiver sets, and now they have the confidence to ship off Demarius Thomas, uh, the the main piece of their wide receiving core over the last several years. Cortland Sutton is, to me, a. I mean, we said this um, on yesterday's show and even last week's show, talking on waivers. Now with this trade done, he, is, he has the chance to be a locked and loaded weekly wide receiver two straight off the waiver wires. Um, I do see this as a downgrade for Demarius Thomas. Not everybody will see it that way because you've got an upgrade in quarterback, right? You're going from Case Keenum right. as what he was already being basically the number two there behind Emmanuel Sanders. Now he goes over to an upgraded quarterback into Sean Watson, but he's the number two behind DeAndre Hopkins. The reason I think it is a downgrade is it's just simple. When wide receivers change teams, it's not always good. It's not always quick and easy. This is a midseason changeover to a team that wants to, you know, r run the ball, have defense, and is a clear, you know, it's not like Emmanuel Sanders. DeAndre Hopkins, another level of wide receiver one. He is the right. clear cut main guy there. Um, and I think it's also bad news for uh, Kiki Cutie. Yeah, oh, yeah, it certainly is. His ceiling in the role that possibly could have been there for him when he returns from his injury is capped. It's an interesting move. Move uh, the Texans. They needed to do something. I mean, they're they're on their way for a playoff run, and they had to add a weapon. But this is interesting because the weapon they're losing or lost was Will Fuller, the field stretcher. Demarius Thomas is not a field stretcher like Will Fuller anymore. Well, neither neither was Kiki though. And I think I think ultimately you that's why I talked about Vincent Smith. Is this what are they going to do here? But I, if you look at Thomas as more replacing the utility of a Kiki and being a more, you know, obviously healthy, uh, established, look, he wasn't doing anything in Denver. So I don't think it's necessarily a – it's a downgrade when you when you think about the expectations of what you had. Last three games for Demarius Thomas, three for 30, five for 40, three for 50. Do I think he can catch five balls a game with Deshaun sure. Watson? I do. And so – what is your expectation? Two, three fringe guy? I think that's possible. Yep. Especially the way teams rotate coverage to uh, DeAndre Hopkins. This also could, and I'm not saying it is, but the, we see moves like this happen that are good indications of other players who are injured not being as close as we all hope. So it could be one of those things where they know Kiki's a ways out. Right. Kiki might not be back for several weeks, and they have to have another wide receiver. But it was a smart move for both teams. Did you know? Now, I know this is probably your first time on YouTube, but you can actually click subscribe and it will tell you when our future episodes are. You can even see the whole episode down below in the description. You got to do it. Hang out with us. Subscribe right now.